Hello everyone, I'm Ian Weaver, the writer, main actor, and director of Gaming Wildlife. Hi, I'm Dan, director, photography, editor, and frankly everything else behind Gaming Wildlife. One thing that has been brought to our attention is that here at Gaming Wildlife, aka Ian, we don't do very much, if any, research for our 100% Honest series. Since we got on the front page of Reddit in January 2014, we decided to capitalize on the rising success of the Electronic Arts video. Even though I felt pressured and completely burnt out from the now more popular Valve episode, I really just didn't know where to go from here. See, I didn't care because I thought our audience didn't care, and I think Ian is an idiot. Wow, was he wrong? First, Sony. From my perspective, it just felt like Sony had the most amount of stuff to lose when it comes to the console wars. Then, 343 for three Industries. I felt like one joke was all we needed. There is literally nothing else to say about 343 three Industries. Forcing me to play Rockstar even though I suck at accents. It really honestly feels like they don't give a shit, and Dan was begging me to play that part. <sighs> then Capcom and Blizzard. Now the thing was, I didn't actually write those episodes, but I really liked the direction he took them. I thought it was a nice change of pace instead of just having every single episode be all we care about is money over and over and over and over. GameSpot. That one I didn't even want to do, but Dan talked me into it, despite the fact that I knew it was going to be super controversial. No, I have nothing against Jeff Gertzman, I just wanted to depict him being a part of something bigger that he can't really control, and I had no idea that it was going to end up on the Gamergate wiki page. Zinemax fixing the mistakes from the previous episode. There was another idea that Dan came up with that I had to write, where all the Zinemax episodes would be connected and they would be shot one episode after the other. And Todd Hollinshed is no longer in charge of id Software. Look up who the actual CEO of any of these companies are. Most of them don't currently have one. And so we need someone to be the guy in charge, but the problem is they're owned by higher ranked companies. Finally, Valve. The 75% thing. What the fuck? I thought Valve took the whole of the 75%. I didn't realize that Valve and Bethesda share that amount. But does that really make it better? No, they're still taking a huge chunk out of that. And I know Gabe Newell's AMA said otherwise, but honestly, I wasn't the only person who said that. Look at all the videos that came out after the modding scandal happened. A lot of other people said that too. You see, what Dan doesn't know- No, you look at me. We're talking to each other now. Yeah, I really don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> hey, they don't want to hear your crap. You have a problem, you look at me. Okay, do you know what my problem is? What? You can't spell anything right. Oh, is that really the big problem? It's not that you're completely an organized mess and you get everything late? Do you want to try writing some of these? Because it's damn near impossible hey, sometimes. Hey, I've written a few episodes. They think I'm funny. Very lover. You, why don't you just go buy a uh, cardboard crack? Buy a pack of cardboard cracks. Stop stumbling over your lines. You are impossible to direct. I took one class of improv. You need to shoot me with a little more respect. Fuck you. <laughs> Gaming wildlife. When we screw up, we take it out hardest on ourselves. <laughs>
It's getting bigger. Just really gotta. Huh?